Toastmaster Avita. I'm like you, and you are like me. We all have been inspired to do great things at some point in our lives. We all want our names to be imprinted in the pages of history. And we all want to change this world in our own little ways. Maybe that is why we joined Toastmasters, to tell this world of precious stories. And to bring a change, small or big, in the lives of our listeners and our own selves. Mr. Contestia, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, I have always wanted to change the world. But change what? I didn't know. This urge to change deepened as I grew up, hearing about legends like Gautama Buddha, Vishwanath Anand, Nervata Einstein, Mahatma Gandhi, and many more. In class then, I read my experiments with truth. It moved me to such an extent that I wanted to be a freedom fighter, badly. My bad luck that I was born too late. And India was already free, but inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. I always spoke truth and tried to inculcate all the good habits in me. And I wanted to change the world like Mahatma Gandhi, who always said that be the change you want to see. I think I took this change thing rather too seriously, as you will see that my life has been full of abrupt changes. In class 11th, I wanted to be a rapper. I stumbled upon a man who rhymed words with an ingenious profoundness that I cannot explain. This man, bullied and hated in his childhood, went on to become a rap god when he grew up. His name is Eminem. Blown away by this man, I started writing and performing raps anywhere and any time, trying to become a rap god myself, all in a quest to change this world like Eminem. In my college, third year, I started reading about controlling one's mind, but eventually turned my focus to Buddhist philosophy. I started by meditating twice a day, which later landed me in Dharamshala, a place in Himachal Pradesh. Here I was surrounded by Buddhist monks, from whom I learned Buddha's teachings. And one such lesson on dependent arising just left me awestruck. This lesson taught me that everything is every other thing. A flower is shit, and a shit is flower. One day, the flower will die and become shit. And one day, the shit will fertilize a flower and will become the flower itself. So don't be repelled by the shit and the ugly things in life. Because beautiful is also ugly. And ugly is also beautiful. During my return, one of the Buddhist nuns handed over her mala to me as a gift. That day, I felt I was not just carrying a mala, but an immense responsibility. I felt that Buddha himself was asking me to change the world. But why haven't I changed the world yet? Why? This question haunted me for months until I read a story. A story about a father and his small son. One day a father was relaxing with his newspaper after a long day at office. His son, who wanted to play, kept on pulling him. Finally fed up, the father cut out the picture of the globe that was in the newspaper and tore it into a hundred tiny pieces. Here son, go ahead and try to put this back together. He thought this would take his son hours. But to his amazement, the son returned after only one minute. With the globe perfectly back together. The startled father asked, how did you achieve this feat? The son smiled gently and replied that on the other side of the globe, there was a picture of a person. And once I got the person together, the world got together itself. I just turned the page around and everything was okay. Strangely, I found my answer in that one story. And the answer was simple. Just turn the page around. I was always trying to change the world. But this world is too big a thing to be changed by a small person like me. But I always have the power to turn the page around and be the best I can be. And this world will take care of itself. Friends, if we want this world to be a better place, we'll have to create that better place inside ourselves first. Even if we could not change the world, at least we would have changed ourselves for good. 
And believe me, God himself will write our name in golden letters in the pages of history and this world will be changed forever. Thank you.